<laughs> well, Dad. Well, did you catch it? Nothing, Dad. Right, time for Plan D. Plan D? Dynamite. I <laughs> did it. Oh, you fight life out of me. <laughs> Dad, Dad, come oh, on. Oh. Dad. Hold on a minute, will you? Dad, oh. dynamite. Yo. Oh. 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 Right, don't tell anyone how we did it. Right, right. I feel like fishy tonight. It's like fishy tonight. What's that one called, Dan? That one there is called the Buntline Hitch. And what's that one used for? Uh, the beauty of the Buntline Hitch is it makes a resilient jerking. Oh, you'd be hard pressed now to get out of a Buntline Hitch. And that's what makes it ideal for tying up heifers, spanners, sheep, hurling referees, that class of thing. Oh, come here. A tangled bit of rope walks into a bar. What bar? Any bar, it doesn't matter. A tank of bit of rope walks into a bar and orders a pint of Guinness. And the rope said that? Yeah. It's fairly peculiar. It's a joke. Oh. All oh, right. Good man. Thanks for the lift. You're welcome. Killing the scullies that way. So, the barman says, sorry, we don't serve tangled bits of rope. And the piece of rope says, sorry, uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, the barman says, and the piece of rope says, wait, uh, hang on, hang on. What does he got against bits of rope? Mother of God, will you just let him finish it, will you? The barman says, I hope you're not a tangled bit of rope. And the rope says, no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> I've lost the will to live. I'm afraid not. Come on, it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> I'm afraid not. <laughs> I'm afraid I, I'm fairly good, Dad. <laughs> mayor of the parish. I, I did not know we had mayor. That's just a bit of gas, Dieter, you know, for, for charity. Um, anyone can run and anyone can vote, provided the Send a Granny to Lourdes Fund gets one euro per vote. In Dusseldorf, my uncle was Burgermeister. Is that right? Did he have his own van? Uh, no. Oh. Excuse me, Father. Hello, how are you? I'm looking for an old friend of mine. He lives around here somewhere. We were in the Scouts together years ago. <laughs> what was his name? Well, here's the thing. I can't remember. <laughs> but uh, he'd be about my age. Maybe you should ask Dan Clancy. He knows everyone. Uh, would he be about my age? He would, yeah. Does he have a nickname? Yes. They call him Dan the Man. That's him. Dan the Man Clancy. Isn't that gas? Where would I find him? Jaxies. Thanks so much, you lads. <laughs> Throw on three more pints there, Jaxy. I'm going to the Jax. Why don't you tie a knot in it? <laughs> Luder. Morning, campers. <laughs> Can I get you something? Well, you can get me a meeting with me old buddy Dan the Man Clancy. I understand I'll find him here. He's Dan. Dan! Long time no see! It's fairly impressive looking, all right. 200 euro, Father. It will cost you twice that in the shops. Is that right? Yeah. Well, listen, uh, Dick, can I leave these with you? They're, um, they're leaflets for, for the mayoral election. There's a York door, make sharp work at Lynn in the church. I guess. I wouldn't want to put Mrs. Gilholy out of a job. With this, Father, you wouldn't need any old bags. In fairness, Dick, she can be a bit annoying sometimes, you know, but uh, she does a great job cleaning the church. 
It's a bagless vacuum cleaner, Father. All oh, right. You, you won't tell her I said that, will you, Dick? It's only 200 euro, Father. Right, gotta go. <laughs> Mickey! Mickey Mooney! Tricky Mickey Mooney! No? Shh. How are you? I can't believe you can't remember. This might help, right? Ori air hickory Ann. Fill your father's hickory jan. Who be scary, hairy Mary? Hicker him, tigger him! Hell of a point of whatever he's on. Look, this one might help. King gang, gooly 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 wash wash, king gang goo. King gang goo. Come on in, lads. King gang, gooly 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 wash wash, king gang goo. King gang goo. Well, do you know this for the day? I never met this Egypt before in my life. Mickey Mooney, St. Gubbins O'Toole Scout Troop, Wicklow Jamboree, 1967. Now, don't tell me you can't remember that. Were you in the Boy Scout stand? No. Of course he was. Dan the Boy Clancy, huh? She you burnt down the mess tent, remember? I tell you, lads. <laughs> we couldn't eat for three days. <laughs> you see, the Dan is a great man for cooking the old sausages, right? It's no wonder they call them bangers. Isn't that right, Dan? <laughs> What shall I do? It's on fire, it's on fire. Charlie, go away! <laughs> Can't see! <laughs> oh, I tell you, lads, a sausage in the wrong hands can be a dangerous joke. Isn't that right, Dan? I was never in the scouts. You see, Dan was on the warning from the previous year, right? Because he poisoned the girl guys with his spotted dick. <laughs> so, up steps Tricky Dicky, lava suits, and I took full responsibility for the conflagration. Fair play to you. Ah, sure, that's all you can do. Be prepared. You had a lucky escape there, then. I wasn't there. Then, Dan says, if you're ever in killing a scully, you've got the full use of the Clancy Cottage. I said no such thing. If you're ever in killing a scully, you have the full use of the Clancy Cottage. Dan Clancy. <laughs> Sergeant! Sergeant! What is it, Larry? I want to report an explosion. An explosion? What? Look, I, I can't hear a word. There was an explosion. What? There was an explosion. Oh, you know about it. Well, there was an explosion in the river, and it was raining fish. What type of fish? What? What type of fish? Um, mare. I didn't know we had a mare. Well, how was that? <coughs> oh, excuse me. That certainly gets a tricky Mickey seal of approval. There's no doubt about it, Brady. You know your way to a man's heart. There you are, Mickey. Get your tricky round that. Where's mine? Angel Delight. No, it's trifle. I know. It's a delight made by an angel. Ha ha ha! Oh, my God. Uh, tell me, is there a Mrs. Tricky? No. There was, but, well, she's, uh, she's gone upstairs now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. How did she... Um... Bored to death, probably. No, she, she didn't die. She ran away with the fella from upstairs. A lad from Roscommon. Drove a bread van called Tuberty. That's his name. I don't know what the bread van's called, though. <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake. Look at you. You're like a pair of teenagers canoodling in the ditch. Right, I'm out of here. Uh, are you going for a drink, Dan? Maybe I am, and maybe I'm not. I know, it's just I, I told the lads I might meet them later. What lads? The lads, Timmy and Jimmy. Mother of God. Uh, Bridie, I was wondering, um, could I borrow a ten euro note for a couple of days? Certainly, Mickey. I've only twenty. I should not to worry. Twenty will do fine. You see, I cannot vote for you, Larry, as I am running myself. 
Oh, what's that? The election. I am hoping to be elected. You see, I have my poster, so I cannot put up yours. Can't put up what? Up yours, Larry! Well, if that's how you feel, up yours too, Dieter! <laughs> Larry, be, be careful, Larry. Act up! Larry! Like my good night, this is my night! Oh, that is not no genick, not nicked. Not again! No, I'm not running. So where would I get the time to go traipse around the village looking for votes? Dieter's running. And Larry Commons. Well, best to look to them. And so is your friend from the Scouts, then. He's not my friend. I only met him this morning. Well, he's fierce popular. Yeah, so was Hitler for a while. Ah, how are the boys? Lads, I've got a good one for you. Two caterpillars are sitting on a leaf. When a butterfly flutters past, one caterpillar turns and says to the other, you never catch me up on one of them yokes. ba dum <laughs> 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 Taxi, stick us on a point there and three points for me good buddies here. It's my shout. Good man yourself. Thanks, mate. Uh, I'm just going to go and stray in the old spuds, all right? <laughs> Did you feckin' hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, he's buying around. He's going stray in the feckin' spuds. Stray in the spuds. So? You know, that's my line, I say that. Do you? When? About 20 times a day. 20 times? You want to get that looked at? <laughs> <laughs> this has nothing got to do with my waterworks. That clown is dusting in my house, eating my dinner and stealing my feckin' clothes. You know what our friend's for? How many times have I to tell you? He's not my feckin'. That'll be 12 euro, Mickey. Fair play, Joe. Cheers. Um, actually, Jaxie, I'm a little bit short at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, well, when I was getting on the train yesterday, I uh, got jumped by three fellas. Three fellas? Jumped me from behind. Actually, there could have been four of them. They jumped me from behind, the sides and the front. Mother of God. No way. The thing is, they, uh, well, they got the wallet and got the cash, the cards, the lot. That's dreadful. Mind you, I got one fella, a big fella, a good fung up the arse before he legged it. Good man, Tricky. No better man. Fear not, cos what's Mickey's motto? Oh, be prepared. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, the mother's coming down with a cheque. Oh, that'll be nice. We'd love to meet your mammy. No, mind you, it's a substantial cheque, but, uh... Well, until it lands, I'm uh, financially embarrassed. No worries, Mickey. I don't normally open a tab for anyone, but seeing that you're Dan's friend, I can't see why not. God bless you, Jaxie. How many times have I to tell you he's not my feckin' friend? Here. What's this? It's just an old tenor to tide you over like. Ah, there's no need, Jimmy. I insist. God bless you. I only have a fiver left. Ah, oh, lads. It's great to know you've got... You've got your friends around you when the chips are down. Dan, why should you have something to give to Mickey? Oh, I do, all right. I'd give him a right... Uh, lads, lads, listen to this, right? Did you hear the one about the Viagra you can put in your tea? It does nothing for your... You know what? But it keeps your biscuits hard. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy gold, huh? <laughs> Excuse me. How are you, ma'am? Could you tell me where Jaxie's bar is? Do you know the shade that had the roof gone off in the big wind? Look, I'm not from around here. Oh, maybe you're better off. I swear me nana's grave, me seven and herself and the children thought we wouldn't get through tonight. The mob I was rocking so much. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, but Jaxie's bar. If you go down the road there to the shed that had the roof blown off in the big wind, turn around, come back up about 500 yards, you'll find it there on your right. That's your left hand. Yeah, but that's that you'll be coming back. Good luck. Good luck, ma'am. <laughs> How did you know, Holmes, that the old lady was not Moriarty's mother, was in fact Moriarty's
his accomplice. Elementary, my dear Watson. I observed from her habits that she was not all that she seemed. That and the unnaturalness of her bosoms led me to unmask her as the criminal mastermind he truly was. Criminal mastermind that he was. Now that is good. What in the name of God are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Did you say something? What are you doing? I'm hoovering. What do we used to say in the scouts? Cleanliness is next to godliness. We don't have a hoover. Hey, what do you do now? I got it off Sergeant Dick O'Toole. I told him you fix up. How much does that cost? 200 euro. To cost you twice that in the shops. Dick, where'd you come out of? You missed a bit there. Mother of God! Do you notice anything, Dan? Yeah, there's no feckin' breakfast. Ah, Dan! You'll have to get it yourself this morning. Mickey has taken me for a drive. I'm sure he doesn't have a care. I'm lending him the squad care. You'd want to mind him. He, he has your room, spotless. And no one feckin' asked him. I'll be in the care when you're ready. Right, Dick. Hey, I had 200 euro in here. Yeah. I lent it to Mickey, along with 300 of my own. Well, he is good. Sure isn't his mother on the way down with the check. Mother me ass! Wait till you hear. It seems Mickey had this business partner who cheated him out of every penny. Isn't that shocking? Shocking? I'll give him frickin' shocking! My lady, your chariot. Awaits. Oh, Mickey! So hop on board the magical tricky Mickey too. Where is he? Where is he, the lion bastard? Come on, Mickey, it's your go. Get in, you devil yet. Come on, Brady, and don't forget, the louder you scream, the faster we go. Where is he? Let me have him. Hey. Bored. So the English fella says, This is my son George, he was born on St. George's Day. Then the Scottish fella says, This is my son Andrew, he was born on St. Andrew's Day. With that, the Irish fella turns to his son and says, For feck's sake, pancake, say nothing now! <laughs> Very good. good luck, Mickey. And may the best man be winning. Well, fair play to you, Dieter. Oh, come here. Have you met the mammy? Is it mammy? Yeah. Oh, she's over here. This is my mother, Minnie Mooney. Ah, oh, pleased to meet you. How are you? Oh, boy, I'm fine now. Uh, I did have a slight headache earlier, but it is gone now. Come here. The jacks. The toilet. Where is it? Oh, the toilets are this way. But, but I notice the ladies are out of order. All right, use the boys' room. <laughs> A woman my age has seen it all before, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. She's gas, isn't she? she? Gas? Well, did you meet her? Meet who? Mickey's mad. No. Did she bring the checkbook? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. Jackson, throws on a pint there, will you? I'm going out to strain the spuds. Right, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I wouldn't go in there if I was you. <laughs> Led me to unmask her as the criminal mastermind he truly was. I knew it. Now, the good news is that uh, thanks to our little election, the Send a Granny to Lourdes Fund is better off by over 200 euro. I have it. Have what? It's elementary. He's the greatest con man known, and she's his sidekick. They're like Bonnie and Chives, the two of them. Shh. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. 
the results of the mayoral election. <laughs> In third place, with one vote, Larry, Larry Collins. Collins. What's that, Fander? You got one, Larry. Oh, I won! I won! Oh, I would like to thank everybody who voted for me. Larry. This is the most important Larry. day of my life. You, you, you got one vote, Larry. One? Yeah, one. Well, thank you all very much. And thank you, Larry. In second place, with 35 votes, Dieter Langer! Hi, Dieter. Good man. But with a massive 171 votes, the first mayor of Killina Scully will be Mickey Mooner! Thanks very much, Father. Ah, oh, I'd like to thank you all very much. <laughs> Although I'm pretty much just a blow in here, I'm uh, I'm honoured to be voted mayor of Killina Scully. I'd like to thank all my supporters, and of course, the mammy, Mrs. Minnie Mooney. Without who? Well, I would just uh, one minute. I've been putting up with this Luda for the last few days, taking over half the village, like some old fancy Dan, without even once putting his hand in his pocket. <laughs> Not even that, but tapping people left, right and centre, all based on some old fictitious check that never even materialised. But, but that's the thing. Mammy has the check. Ha! The Mammy. That brings me to the Mammy. Like Tricky Mickey, the Mammy has a secret or two hidden under her petticoat. What are you saying, Dan? It's elementary, father. <laughs> the mammy here is the con man's male accomplice. Oh. I observe by her habits that she's not all what she seems. That and the unnaturalness of her bosoms has forced me to unmask her as the criminal mastermind that he is. Oh. Look, father, it's a wig. Oh, Dan. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, mammy. Dan. Oh. Look at them boobies, father. Oh. They're only making up you ones. Oh. Dan. Oh. Dan. Oh, Mammy, I'll get you outside. Oh. Oh. Now look what you've done. Mammy has a heart condition. Oh, my God. <sighs> You're lucky she didn't press charges. Pressing charges? Trying the one with the eye as big as a schlitter, and they did exactly what I said, fecked off without paying anyone. As you tried to pull the hair off her. But I thought she was a he. You certainly made a right boob there, Dan. Or was it the left one? Thirteen hundred? Fourteen hundred? Mickey Mooney, St. Governor O'Toole's Boy Scout Troop, Wicklow Jamboree, 1957. Now, don't tell me you can't remember that. Were you in the Boy Scouts, Matt? No! <laughs>